Pinball Museum is a collection of about 65 playable machines, and they range in time from 1932 all the way to the present day. So the oldest machine we have is a really beloved uh, machine. It's from 1932, and it's called Skill Score, and it doesn't even have electricity. It's just woods and pins, you know, pinball, right, the pins. And you just put the ball in and pull the plunger, and it kind of falls down. The, that was used to be called Bagatelle. And uh, so there's no flippers on it. And people love this. Well, the history of pinball, oh my gosh, you have to go back to maybe the 16th century, or, or not 16th, but Louis the 16th. And supposedly he was playing with billiards and uh, didn't have anyone to play with. You had to be pretty wealthy back then to have a room and table. And so apparently he was putting books and things underneath the pool table to kind of lift it up and playing with, you know, geometry and so forth. Well, anyway, over time, you know, they started to add holes to shoot for and then they shrunk it down and then, you know, even until about the late um, 20th cent or 19th century, uh, pinball, you had to use a little stick and, uh, you know, kind of like the old, cute, uh, the old pool game. So p pinball is derived from billiards. The main thing is just having representation of, of this sort of um, interactive entertainment and it's kind of a piece of pop art, Americana, you know, a little bit of art, a little bit of uh, sounds from each decade. And as you move through them and play them, uh, we've grouped them according to, roughly to the decades. So you, you kind of move through time as you, as you play the games. And that's a really unique experience for people to connect not only with, you know, history and of entertainment as well, but also see how things have changed over time.